Hola. <laughs> hey, hola. <laughs> okay, Lightspeed Spanish, uh, podcast 31 for early intermediate. And today we're talking about the verbs that take say and some of the current, the current, current. common mistakes <laughs> that we make. Pero primero, Cynthia, la, mucha gente dice que no deberíamos hablar antes de empezar. ¿Por qué? Me gusta. Un, un hombre dijo, ¿por qué tienes que pregun preguntarle a Cindia qué tal cuando porque, vives con ella? Porque es bonito. Sí. Y, es sí. bonito. Y yo, yo... Pregúntale a tu mujer o a tu marido cómo está. Es importante. <risa> ¿Cómo estás, Gordon? Yo estoy muy bien. ¿Y tú cómo estás? Muy, muy inglés. Muy bien. Sí, sí muy bien también. Muchas sí. gracias. Mm. Soy inglés, por cierto. Sí, me Ajá. di cuenta. Sí, a veces me, hace, me acento. ¿no? <risa> <risa> a veces. Bueno, eh, ¿y, ¿y qué has hecho hoy, Cintia? Hoy... ¿Qué he hecho hoy? Hoy he tenido una clase solamente y he estado con Sebastián mm -hmm. eh, jugando a hacer un líquido no newtoniano. Uh. Y mi hijo ha estado cuatro horas jugando y destrozando el salón mm. con maicena y agua por todos los sitios. Entonces, es, ese líquido es una mezcla de maicena... Es maicena y, y agua. agua, ya está, nada más. Maicena sí. y agua. Y luego hemos echado colores Ajá. y luego mi hijo ha echado trenes también y, y una vaca y, y un no sé qué y sí, sí mm. para matarlos lentamente. <risa> Voy a hundir la vaca aquí. Y no, no se puede sacar, ¿No? ¿eh? Es que no. difícil. Sí. Okay, Cindy. Vale. So, we want to talk about the the um, the common mistakes that people make with the verbs that take say. All right. We we had a discussion before this, have we not? About let's not call them reflexive verbs because there are other types of verbs that have say as well. Mm -hmm. For example, reciprocal verbs. Reciprocal verbs, mm -hmm. yeah. And another one that we're not going to mention until we're I going to put it in the help sheets. I'm almost positive they are verbos pronominales, mm. but I can't remember exactly the name now, because I'm... But we can, we'll, different names coming we in. will have that in the help sheets, but really it doesn't matter. Uh, one of the, the big things that I'm into at the moment is to, to not to try and overload people with lots and lots of different names. The verbs that have say on, we know what they are, okay? But one of the main issues that people have is that they, they, they don't realize the tip. There's a really simplistic way of using verbs with say. But we get it all com complicated. So how how do you know what, what these verbs are? Remember, you know the tune. You don't know the tune. Do you know the tune? I don't know the tune. Um, a reflexive verb has an ass on the end. An ass <laughs> on the end. Okay. okay. I've missed that podcast. Have you not? No. 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 Okay. Because <laughs> you've got verbs that have got arse, <laughs> which in English is ass. Okay. Erse and irse. No. So that's how you recognize them. So when you see a verb that has the say on the end, you have to do something with that say. Okay, what things have you seen that people do with the, with the say? Very common mistake. They, um, they don't conjugate the verb mm -hmm. and then just change the say into their proper person. Like they would say me and then they say levantarse. Yeah. Yeah, probably the the most common mistake that the right first of all so you just understand what the same means is oneself that's what it means which we don't really use in English anymore the Queen does yeah oneself oneself and very posh people do but we say yourself so really levantarse is to to get yourself up or to lift yourself okay but really it's oneself so what happens is if you if you say me You're gonna write on my face. I'm not gonna with write on your face, Cynthia. I'm pointing this way. It's miles away. Look, if the camera went around. It's this miles side, away because I moved back. <laughs> you were here. <laughs> don't don't poke my nose. Now if you say me levantarse, how would that translate? Me levantarse. Ah. I to get up myself. To get up myself uh, myself. Myself to get, to get oneself up. No, myself to get to get up, yeah. Myself With to get oneself, oneself up. Yeah? Myself to get oneself up. So t it just, yeah. t you see how difficult it was for Cynthia to translate that? It's 
is gobbledygook. Because my mind is like, me levantarse. <laughs> it's now I don't know who's getting who's, up to who's who. doing what to whom. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. So this is the trick. Okay, with with uh, reflexive verbs, it's easy. Whenever you were talking about the Joe form, the first person, okay, like levanto, the only option that you have is me. If you do anything else with it, it stops being a reflexive verb. It can't be any, if you, if you put te or le or, or se or whatever, it's wrong. Okay, that's basically it. So when you do yo o, you must put me. If you remember that, sorry Cynthia, I'm, I'll just put my hand here like this. I like, I like gesturing. You must put me levanto, okay? Anything else is wrong. And so with the you get yourself up, what's that? You get yourself up. Te levantas. Okay, so the te always goes with the S, levantas. Or it always goes with the, the two form. You can't mix them up. If you do, it's not reflexive anymore. By the way, not all the verbs that, that take se are reflexive. Because God is saying reflexive, mm. but reflexive only means that you do an action to yourself. So you do the action and you receive the action. But some verbs have the se and they're not reflexive. Mm -hmm. Like reírse. Reírse de, to laugh, to laugh at something. You can say me río, but you would have to say de mí mismo to mm -hmm. know that it's yourself, even oh. though it takes the se. Right. O ella se ríe de un chiste. So we use the se form, mm -hmm. but it's not reflexive. Not reflexive. Okay? okay, so other verbs take it, you do the same thing, but it's not reflexive. But you do the same thing as you do in the reflexive. Mm -hmm. And the other example you were talking about, which was the reciprocal verbs. That's, not, uh, yeah, the reciprocal That's ones, when yeah. you do it to each other. Yeah. So like, we kissed. So you kissed each other. So, nos besamos, or we hugged, you hugged each other, mm -hmm. or um, we wrote to each other. That's reciprocal. Mm -hmm. So, we just put nos and then the verb conjugated in the mm -hmm. we form. Se habla. Nos hablamos, mm -hmm. nos escribimos, nos besamos, nos miramos, we looked at each other. Okay, yeah. So, not they're not ref reflexive, they are reciprocal. reciprocal. But they all take say. So they all, they are, in terms of structure, it's identical. The meaning changes a little bit, but the structure's the same. Uh -huh. Yeah? And the structure never changes. It will never change. It'll always be me in, in present. Me with the O. Te with the S. Se, as you do with the third person. Yeah? Nos with nosotros. Os with vosotros. Yeah? So it, it never changes. If you find yourself moving stuff around, then it's going to be wrong. If you find yourself leaving a se on the end and you put, you're putting te or me at the beginning, it's wrong. It's just wrong. You can have levantarse. Levantarse. Yeah? You, can, you can do that, but the se, that, that, that has to be in the right context. So give us a, a levantarse sentence. Cynthia. A ella le gusta levantarse Temprano. Okay. She likes to get herself up. up. Do you not say that, but to get herself up. Yeah. Early. Hmm. Okay. So that's infinitive. Yeah. Um, or es bonito levantarse temprano. Uh -huh. Okay. I can use it with tú. Uh, Gordon, prefieres acostarte. Temprano mm -hmm. o prefieres acostarte tarde? Mm -hmm. So I change the se for te because I'm talking about you. Yeah. So that's important that the se can either be uh, um, talking about third person or it can be just in general, like mine. Es bonito levantarse temprano. It's nice to get oneself up early that's really what that's what sent that sentence is saying we just mm -hmm. say to get yourself up but we don't mean you you know but you were using a two and you had to change it to take uh -huh. so it has to agree even if it's at the beginning or at the end it has to agree with the person you're talking about if you mix it up it's wrong yeah bien muy bien si sí. mm. 
<risa> bueno, Cintia, muchísimas gracias otra vez. A ti, a ti. Has hecho todo el trabajo tú. No, pero has, has, tú has metido el español muy bien allí, ¿no? Vale, entonces... Eh... ¿Nos vamos? Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.